Okay, guys, um, this is just um, to give you an update on the system I've been developing, the 5TT Wave system. Um, just to give you an, an update on where I am now in the whole process. Let's, let's remember what the technique is. Okay, so that's what the technique is really. The when price is, if you remember, this is the moving average 34. The middle line there is the close, EMA, um, EMA 34 close. The up line, the top line there is the EMA, EMA 34 high. And the bottom one is the EMA 34 low. And so the, the technique really I'm testing out or the principle I'm testing out is if you notice price just keeps going up, coming back, retesting this wave, moving back up, retesting the 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 wave. So my, my first point is to see whether that concept actually makes money or whether it's, it's something to follow um, and optimize. And what I have seen then is if price goes back up, you want I want to enter a buy trade around here to follow the next move up. And similarly for a down move, when price moves down, I want to follow what I want to just track price. Once price comes back to this band, I want to take a sell down, I want to take a sell up down here again. I want to take a buy. Down here again, I want to take a buy. Breaks through again. Down, I want to take a sell. Down, you know, as it as uh, as it will. And um, I've run, practically run, that process here. So what this test result here shows is, you can see all these lines, all these dots here. Once the price broke to the downside, the system starts to place limit sell limit orders. So, anticipating that price will come back up and fill me in. So it starts to, and each if with each new candle, it closes the old one, closes the old one, closes the old one, opens a new one, closes the old one, open a new one, closes the old one. Um, it just tracks price as price continues. And at this point here, at for for example. You can see that price then gets, I get filled into that trade. Price then moves up, continues, moves up slightly, goes the opposite direction, but then eventually came down and I got taken out here. Um, similarly, when price broke the upside here, I started to get limit, buy limit orders, and price then filled me in here, but then continued to the downside and that was a losing trade. And so that continues, and I've just run it for 2018, so from January 1 to today, um, to just see how things progressed. Um, now, the key thing is that the concept, the program works as I, I expect it to work. So there are some positives in this. It's not yet making profit, but that's the point of optimizing. The key thing for me here is that the program is act, is doing exactly what I expect it to do right now based on the level of, of testing I'm running. There's still a lot more to go with this because I've got to change the rules to see if um, other things, for instance, as I'm placing limit orders here, can I instead, once I have this break to the downside, can I instead start to place actual buy orders when I get a lower, a lower close? So it closed below the previous low. Um, so a lower close. So each time I get a, a lower close, I want to get into the market as long as this wave is pointing down downwards. Um, so those are the other things I'm going to test. And the beauty of being able to test these trades, you can see for ring stands here, um, you can see that that didn't really make any money, but that didn't blow the account up. So again, there is um, there's risk management applied to this, but we can see that all together, all together, there were 25 real trades taken. Yeah, actual trades taken, but but there were how many? 
there were more than 500 limit orders taken altogether. Now, if I try to do that manually, that's just going to be almost impossible for me to, to do all this. All this happened within five minutes. So it's just harder to do uh, manually. So that's why it's easier to, um, to do it, to automate the testing, as it were. So the next thing I'm going to be testing is exactly what I've said. And so I'll give you an update on how how this progresses. But I'm, I'm quite impressed with, with what I'm seeing. Um, I'm quite happy with, um, with the results um, that I'm getting with this. Um, it's doing exactly what I wanted to do. All I just like need to do now is to optimize, change the rules, add some more filters, and see where this takes us. Okay? I will give you an up another update as, um, as things progress. All right? Speak to you soon. Cheers.